everybody. I hope you are fine. You are watching our video. Uh, today what I'm going to do, I want to do something uh, different for you. Why? Because we uh, talked about lots of grammars. I'm talking about it for 11 grades. Again, I'm going to use Think B1 book. And this is our workbook. We talked about lots of grammars. Yes, you know, we talked about past perfect. We talked about, uh, for example, reported speech, passive tenses, uh, future tenses, present, perfect, all of them, yes? Now I'm going to do something uh, different, just do some tests for you. And during the test, I'm going to explain why by one from different topics, okay? Not just one thing. Now I choose some future tenses. We are going to talk about future. Look at here, how we can understand that, uh, how many future tenses we have. Normally, you know that we use will and won't for prediction of something. We use present simple, for example, for fixed action. For example, all the shopping centers opens at 10 o'clock and closes at 10 in the evening. This is a fixed action, yes? And we talked about, for example, present uh, continuous for some intentions, uh, for something uh, that is arrangement, yes? Something that you know, you discuss about it, talk with another, you are going to do. And also we use be going to, Amis are going to for something that is intention, you want to do something. Now one by one we are going to check this grammar. The film starts at 9 o'clock. Prediction or fixed event? Why this is a prefixed event? Because it's here we have present simple, yes? The film starts. Look at here. When we have S at the end of the verb, what does it mean? It means that this is a third form present simple. For he, she, it, we use S at the end of the verb, but for I, you, we, they, we don't have any S. So this is a fixed event. Every day, the film starts at 9 o'clock, yes? From Saturday, Sunday, Monday, there is no difference. Every day. So this is not a prediction. This is a fixed action. They are meeting on Saturday. Is it an arrangement or fixed event? It's arrangement, yes? Look at here. They are meeting on Saturday. It's something that they arrange. For example, my family and I talked and we arranged that this Saturday we are meeting together. Yes, we are going to be gathered together. So this is an arrangement. We decided, we talked about it, okay, before. Her plane arrives at 6 a.m. on Tuesday. Look at here again. We use arrives. Yes, present simple. S at this. So this means that this sentence is present simple. And when you see a present simple in any sentences, it means that this is a fixed event. Okay? This is not arrangement. This is not intention. Or this is not, for example, prediction. Just fixed event. So if you see any present simple, for future tense, it shows that this is a fixed event or action. She is going to study IT at university. Going to, is going to. What does it mean? It's a kind of intention, yes? When we use am, is, are going to means we want to do something, yes? For example, uh, I am going to uh, go to uh, Malaysia, for example, next year. I want to do it, but still I not decided anything. If I said that I'm going there, it means that I decided. This is a kind of arrangement. I'm going. But we say she is going to study. She is going to do something. It's not much. It's an intention. She wants, okay, she wanted to do something, but it's not fixed, okay, not decided. They are getting married in June. They are getting. It's a present continuous, yes? Present continuous we use for just arrangement. Look at here. They are getting married. It's a fixed thing, okay? My friend and uh, her, for example, husband talked together, arranged, decided, married in June. Yes, so the marriage is in June. Everything is ready now. So this is a kind of arrangement, not prediction. And look at this one. We won't need phones in the future. We won't need when you use, when you see will or won't in a sentence, it means that definitely it's a prediction. It's not arrangement, it's not intention, it's not, uh, for example, I don't know, fixed events, nothing. Just prediction. So, whenever you see any will or any won't in a sentence, for negative, okay, negative won't, Definitely it's a prediction, nothing else. So you can understand by this, yes? This is a prediction or intention. 
I am going to act in a film one day. I am going to do something. What's this? This is something that I think. Yes, I want to do it. But it's a not fixed action. It's a kind of intention. What is intention? Intention is something that you really need to do it. Yes, I am going to act. But if I say that I'm acting in a film, for example, next month, it said that everything is arranged, decided, just I'm going to do it. She will be very tall when she is older. She will be. Look at here. Again, it's a kind of prediction. For example, 10 years ago, I saw my sister. Yes, my sister is younger than me. And I see that she will be taller than me. I understand it. I'm going to predict it because now, for example, when I was 10, I'm not at the same, uh, for example, height that she was. So I predict that she will be taller than me. So this is a kind of prediction. So if you see any will or won't in a sentence, definitely it's a prediction. She's starting her new job next week. She's starting. It's a present continuous in the sentences. And you know that am is R plus ing verb ing. It shows that your sentence is present continuous. So it's a kind of arrangement again. And they will win the final easily. They will win. What does it mean? It means that it's a kind of again prediction. Yes, will plus verb. So prediction. We are going to have something healthy for dinner. And there is, there is some students, uh, some of our students are teachers. This is not healthy. This is healthy. Yes, both of them you can use. Healthy or healthy. We are going to have. Amis are going to the vet. Two plus vet. What does it mean? It's a kind of intention. So I think that uh, now you understand how you can, for example, uh, define when you are going to use will, when you are going to use amis or ing or continuous. Yes. So for fixed actions, all the time we use present simple. For prediction of something, we use will or won't. And for, for example, uh, for arrangement, we just use present continuous. And for intention, amis are going to plus where. Let's do another exercise to understand it better. So you are going to complete the sentences, use the correct form of the verb in the brackets. We have the verbs here. We are going to write here, for example, present continuous, uh, am is are going to, prediction, will or won't, or fixed action. Grandma will be pleased to see you. Will be pleased. Look at here, after will, all the time we use just base form of the verb. Will plus base form of the verb. Tonight, Joe and I watch a film at home. What do you think? Going to watch. Look at here. This is uh, totally wrong here. Joe and I are going to watch. This is not am. Um. Please pay attention. Here, if uh, we have, for example, tonight, I, okay, I am going to watch a film, but here, because Joe and I, this is a kind of mistake of book, okay, uh, are going to watch. If you want to write the answer, please write here, Joe and I are going to watch. Because it's a kind of intention, yes, they want to watch a film, because of that, for the future, we use going to watch. He says he is going to be a film star one day. For example, 10 years ago, I was talking with my friends and he said that I am going to be a film star one day. Why? Because he really wanted to be there. This is the intention of my friend. My exam is on Friday next week. On Friday, this is a fixed thing, yes? My exam is going to be like this, yes, is. If it's something is fixed, for example, all the exams are on June. Yes, we know that on 14th of June, for example, all the exams will be there. I have spoken to Column and we are going to the cinema on Saturday. Why here we use present continuous? Because it's a something that we arranged it. I talked with my friends, for example, and we decided to do something. So we are going to the cinema to watch a film, for example. I think the world will end with a big bang. What does it mean? If somebody uh, saw, for example, the Big Bang Theory, she or he can understand it better. I think, I, it means that I guess something. I think the world will end with a Big Bang. Suddenly will end. My cousin 
is getting married in June. Because my cousin arranged everything, I know that she or he is getting married in June. It's something fixed arranged. Hurry up. The train leaves in five minutes. The train leaves in five minutes because the train time is fixed. Yes, it's not going to change. So because of that, we know that the train leaves in five minutes. He isn't a bad player, but he won't win the championship next year. He is not a bad player. Yes, we know that he is maybe a good player, but we predict that the championship of next year, he won't win. This is a kind of prediction. Maybe he will win, maybe not, but we predict like this. The shop doesn't open until 10. Look at here, here we have negative form of the verb. Yes, not open. So the shop doesn't open until 10. Doesn't open. Here it's a present simple. Yes, you know that for fixed action we use present simple. And because here we have a negative form of it, we use doesn't for shop. And they are bringing out a new album soon. What does it mean bring out? Bring out means that it will uh, come. Yes, you will have it uh, established. Yes, something like that. They are bringing out a new album soon because it's something arranged. Yes, arranged. We, are, uh, we know that they are going to do it. And let's come here. Check another examples here to understand it better. For example, look at here. This is also an easy but good example. We have some verbs here. Leave, close, finish, arrive, open and start. Yes. London to Manchester. Department time is. Departure time is 12.40. And uh, arrival time is uh, 14.50. Yes. So here is 12.32. What we are going to write, the train leaves London at 12.40, leaves London, because it's going from uh, London to Manchester at 12.40. So the train leaves. We use present simple here because it's a fixed. When you are going to buy a ticket normally, for example, you want to go to Ankara, you want to go to Istanbul, yes? When you are going to buy a ticket, uh, the seller says that, the, to, for example, this flight or this bus leaves from Sakarya to Istanbul, for example, at 3 o'clock. Yes, it's something fixed. It's not going to be 3, 12, 3, 30. Okay, it's a fix. Because of that, we use here present simple. And arrives in Manchester at 40, 50. Again, because it's fixed, from departs from London to Manchester at this time and arrives there at 40, 50. It means that around uh, 2 hours and 10 minutes, it takes, yes, normally. And here we have, there is a theater, yes, Hollywood Rock. It's a, a theater name, yes. Starts at uh, 9 o'clock in the p.m., yes. Uh, we can say that 9 o'clock or 21. And it means that ends at uh, 11.50 p.m., yes. So what are we going to say? The show starts at 9 and finishes at, we have here verbs, yes, start and finished. All of them are fixed things because of that we use present simple. And cafe Monday to Saturday opens at 8 o'clock and closes at uh, 7 o'clock, 7 p.m. Yes, or 90. Today is Sunday. Look at here. Cafe just opens from Monday to Saturday. So it means that Sundays, cafes normally is not open. Yes, so today is Sunday. Tomorrow the cafe opens at 8 a.m. and closes at 7 p.m. Just on Sundays, there is nothing. Yes, the cafe is closed. And another example for you. I'm doing this. Maybe now you are bored, uh, students, but this is good. This is good for you to understand it better. And just we are going to write here, present simple, continuous. We're going to will, won't. This is the last part of our today's grammar. We often use to make prediction about the future. As I told you, for prediction, we normally use will or won't. Yes, so will or won't to make prediction. What about future arrangement? For future arrangement, we are using uh, present continuous or amis are going to. For that, we normally use present continuous. Yes, all the time. If you want to have, for example, uh, I am uh, teaching now, yes, or I am teaching tomorrow again. This is an arrangement, yes, I arrange that tomorrow at this time again, I am teaching. It's about the future, yes, tomorrow 
is not now. Tomorrow is tomorrow. But I arranged everything. So because of that, we use present continuous here. And when we want to talk fixed future events like this, look at here. The train leaves London or arrives in Manchester. They are fixed things, yes? We use here present simple. And we often use what to talk about future plans and intentions. We often use, for example, be going to. I'm going to do this. I'm going to read this book. I'm going to talk with my friend. This is some intention that I or somebody else want to do something. So this part is just about uh, we did something different. Yes, I'm not. Uh, I just do uh, i just did some tests for you from future grammars and i hope that it was useful for you uh, thank you for watching and listening it in an another videos we will talk about something as the other grammars